Mr. Basketball at Kansas State, Coach Jack Hartman, a quiet man and organizational man, a veteran coach of 17 years, a career record 320 wins, 138 defeats. A college basketball team will, in many ways, reflect the personality of its head coach. This Kansas State Big 8 champion team was no exception. Jack Hartman is a strickler for fundamentals. And this basketball team was fundamentally sound. It passed well, it dribbled well, and it played together as a team. Coach Hartman will have it no other way. It can be simply stated that Coach Hartman's style of basketball is the utilization of every tight play that takes advantage of the weakness of an opponent. And that's why this Kansas State team played pattern ball, controlled tempo ball, and don't kid yourself, this Kansas State team could run with the best of them. Let's put it another way, that of balance. Four players averaged in double figures, and two more averaged over nine points a game. And statistics sometimes are revealing. K-State's conference defensive average of 63.6 was the best in the league. Its conference offensive average of 72.8 was third best in the league. And that, in essence, is why Kansas State won the Big 8 championship. Jack Hartman's assistants, Chuck Garrett and Bob Gottlieb, are key factors in K-State's basketball success. As one rival coach put it, K-State has weaknesses. But the problem is that all five players utilize their strong points so well together. You try to beat the team not an individual. Seven players shared in high score honors during the season. Nine players on this team played in 21 or more games. Seven so-called subs contributed 573 points. And you can add another plus for this ball club. There were only three seniors on the entire squad. David Hall, Bob Zender, and Jack Thomas. And all three were on the Big 8 championship team of two years ago. Let's don't forget the academic side of the picture either. As a squad, Kansas State had a 2.755 grade point average based on a 4.0 scale. Five players had grade point averages better than 3.0. Members of the squad, David Hall, 6'7", 200-pound senior, fifth leading career scorer, only the fifth player in K-State history to score more than 1,000 points. Lon Kruger, the Big 8 Sophomore of the Year. Senior Jack Thomas, he wasn't a starter, but he was a great aid to the club with his outside shooting ability. Junior Ernie Kushner, starting forward at 6'5", a rugged player, and K-State's third leading scorer. Sophomore Larry Williams, and we predict greatness for this 6'9 forward. Sophomore Danny Beard, second leading scorer on the team, with an average of 11.2, a great playmaker, an outside shooter. Senior Bob Zender, he closed out his career by finishing 14th among all-time K-State scores, 779 career points. And the big guy, 6'10", 240-pound Steve Mitchell. You can rate him All-America candidate for next year. And junior guard Bob Chipman, an all-out aggressive player. 6'8", strongman Gene McVeigh, another talented sophomore. And fiery Lindbergh White. A real crowd favorite. The squad finished 12-2 and two in the Big 8 Conference, its best since 1963. And by the way, this was K-State's 10th conference championship in the past 17 years.
now let's go to some of the highlights of this 1971-72 season. Against Texas, K-State demonstrated how to attack a zone defense. The Cats uncoiled 62% shooting in the first half and wound up by beating the eventual Southwest Conference champion 87-60. Sophomore Danny Beard was 9 for 11 from the field and the game's high score with 23 points. Wichita, a new state rival to 10. K-State controlled the boards at both ends of the court to snap a shocker three-game win streak, 89-73. David Hall, the key man in the game. He led an attack that saw all five starters score in double figures with 22 points, and he also hauled down 10 rebounds. Against a highly regarded Creighton team, K-State unloaded a 52-point salvo in the second half and breezed 90 to 68. Scoring leaders of the second half surge were Bob Zender and David Hall, but they received outstanding support from Danny Beard's ball hockey and Lon Kruger's playmaking. The Big 8 opener with Iowa State. The Cats win it 69-53. K-State outscored the Cyclones 20-7 in the last six minutes. The Cats cashed in on 14 of their last 16 free throws. All wound up with 20 points to lead both teams. 16 of those came in the second half, and he also hauled in 10 rebounds. a red-hot Missouri team in a Hearn Field House riding the crest of a 15-2 record. In their darkest hour, the Cats steady. Down 47-43, K-State ran off six straight points in their second first game when 6-10 Steve Mitchell scored 14 points and collared nine rebounds in relief of starter David Hall. And played with the passion of the final game of the Stanley Cup playoffs and with the finesse of two lines in the Super Bowl, this time it's K-State not letting KU off the hook. Only three points up heading into the last three minutes. K-State unloaded a 14-5 haymaker to leave KU for dead in the Big 8 race. Next came Oklahoma State, a team that battled K-State to a two-point deficit at Stillwater. This time, K-State built a 35-17 lead at halftime and waltz to a 74-52 victory. Bob Zender scored 16 and 12 each for Steve Mitchell and Lon Kruger. K-State's man-to-man defense held the Cowboys scoreless for five and one-half minutes at one stretch in the first half. After a crucial win over Oklahoma at Norman, the Cats feel the pressure of the title chase as they host Colorado before a regional television audience. Danny Beard had a great afternoon, 17 points. Sellout throng saw K-State stretch its victory streak to seven games, the 73-55 decision over the Bucks. K-State outscored the visitors by a 19-6 margin through the last five minutes. Oklahoma had never won in a Hearn Fieldhouse. The Fieldhouse was built in 1951. Oklahoma was not to win here today. And here is a precise example of perfection, pattern control basketball. Zender on the side. Kruger on top. David Hall to the high post. The game against Nebraska didn't mean anything. K-State clinched the title a few nights earlier at Columbia. But the game was played with the passion of two border riders. It went overtime, but K-State notched its 12th conference victory. The lead changed hands 19 times in the opening 20 minutes. David Hall led the Cats with 16 points, and he added 12 rebounds, 11 of them in the second half. Thus, the regular season ended and another conference trophy to a Hearn Fieldhouse. The team had not lost a game since February the 1st. And as the squad lined up for NCAA regional play at Ames, Iowa, the scouting report was obvious. Assets strong physically, better than average speed, exceptionally strong on the boards. The emergence of two sophomore guards who can do it all. 
good reserve, strong defensively, highly aggressive. And for postseason honors, David Hall was picked on the AP and UPI All Big 8 team. Lon Kruger on the second team, and Kruger, the Big 8 Sophomore of the Year. 126,663 fans saw K-State's 11 home games, an average 11,515. K-State has not averaged below 10,000 per game attendance over the last 15 years, and only four times has failed to average above 10,000 per game in the past 22 years. K-State now braced for the NCAA Midwest Regional at Ames, Iowa. It would be K-State's ninth trip to postseason play, and for Coach Jack Hartman, his seventh tournament bid in the past 10 years. The second meeting of the year with Texas. All the marbles on this one. The season is over for the loser. The K-Staters frittered away, an early 11-point lead but responded with what has become typical Wildcat style and pulled away from the Longhorns 66 to 55. Danny Beard popped in 20 points for the game. The championship match. And here are the Cats, the decided underdog against the nation's third-ranked Louisville Cardinals. It appeared to be a nightmare as Louisville jumped off to a 20-point halftime lead. But K-State staged one of the great comebacks that the 10,000 live fans there will ever see. Lon Kruger blanked in the scoring column in the first 20 minutes became the Kruger of old in the second half, the cool playmaker, the clutch free thrower, and ball hawking defender. Basketball is a way of life at Kansas State. It has fanatical fan support. And a succession of great coaches have built the K-State tradition. Jack Gardner, Tex Winner, Cotton Fitzsimmons, and Jack Hart who was an outstanding football and basketball player at Oklahoma State. Hartman's stature was not built overnight. His climb on the coaching ladder started as a high school coach, junior college coach, and then he took little unknown Southern Illinois into prominence as one of the nation's established basketball powers. The future of Kansas State basketball is sound. A complete renovation of the 20-year-old O'Hearn Fieldhouse will again make it one of the finest basketball houses in the nation. And then there's the sound outlook for next year. Danny Beard, Ernie Kushner, Steve Mitchell, Lon Kruger, Larry Williams, Bob Chipman, Gene McVeigh, and Lindbergh White. They all return. So, you can add it all up. A 7.30 tip-off at a Hearn Field House means excitement, tension, thrills. It's college basketball. College basketball the way it was meant to be supported. And college basketball the way it was meant to be played. <laughs>